My name is Peter Bagenstos. I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I am an emergency room physician. I went into emergency medicine to feel like a functional doctor. When people get sick out in the world on an airplane and they say, is there a doctor around? I'm one of the few doctors that can do something. I don't need an operating room or really much except for my skills. My dad is a brain surgeon. My brother's a brain surgeon. My mom, she's a midwife, but they're all intelligent. My mother, she has a hard time with the concept of survivor. She thinks that I'm gonna be out in the woods naked with a spear fighting Bengal tigers. My brother, he's so busy with work, his only words were, don't get injured and don't make us look stupid. I have watched five YouTube videos on building fire and the conclusion I came to is, how about we win a challenge and get flints as opposed to me spending my time in my apartment, in my condo floor, you know, whittling sticks together and annoying my neighbors with the fire alarm. Who do I get told I look like? It's, it's Barack Obama. I hear it all the time when I'm at work. As I walk into a room, someone could have a broken leg or have a heart attack. The first thing they'll say is, do you know who you look like? And I'll say, you're having a heart attack. I could look like anyone. I can even look like the Grim Reaper in about 10 minutes. So let's, let's focus on, on the task at hand. Before I came out here, I actually had a mohawk for a few months just to like eliminate that conversation because when I have like 10 patients in the ER and I walk in and there's a little kid with a sore throat, I want to diagnose and treat them for a sore throat. I don't want to have a 10 minute discussion on healthcare policy. So I'm to the point right now where I'd get a face tattoo just to not talk about Obama. When you go to medicine, you you give up your 20s, you really do. You, uh, you get educated from the time you're six years old until you're 30 years old. And then you get birthed out into the real world and you got a great salary, but then you ask yourself, wow, you know, where's my marriage? Where are my kids? Just like everyone else. So you feel left out and you try to recapture life. And this is kind of one of my symbols of, of retaining the youth that I have, or at least think I have. One standard and one constant is that I am unpredictable and that I have no problem picking up my anchor and moving elsewhere. So this is an adventure that it's welcomed and needed and if this wasn't real, I would have found my own adventure. <laughs>